Hi everyone, this is Sun Young from Limor Beauty. So many of you have been requesting this Gua Sha massage for fine lines and wrinkles, so I'm really excited to share this follow along video with you all. Before we start, I wanted to share some helpful tips to help prevent fine lines, wrinkles, and even hyperpigmentation from getting worse. So number one, facial posture. As soon as I said facial posture, that probably made you become more aware of your facial expression. And facial posture is just as important as your body posture. So you really want to relax your forehead here. Try not to raise your eyebrows too much because the fine lines happen when you keep creating the folds and the deep set wrinkles happen as the folds get deeper and deeper over time. So just bringing awareness to your forehead also helps prevent lines in these areas as well. And try to relax your eyes here, especially between your brows. You can gently pull your eyebrows like this to bring more awareness and to release the scrunching here between your brows. Then you want to relax your cheeks here. You can do a little tongue roll like this. The other side. Then the whole area. Switch. And this is a nice little exercise to really help release any tension that you carry in these areas here. And you want to relax your jaws here by slightly keeping your jaws unhinged, not clenched. So you can gently open your mouth here and we'll do a little stretch here. Like this. Then go up here with your tongue. And you can do this as often as you would like to really help relax your jaws here. And relax your lips with a gentle smile. Usually we're unaware that we are sometimes frowning with droopy corners. And the gravity also pulls down too. So you want to help counteract that gravity here with a gentle upper smile of your lips. And let's relax our neck here. Your neck long with your spine, with your chin parallel to the floor, slightly tucking towards your chest here to lengthen your neck. And you can roll your shoulders back and down as a gentle reminder to open your chest and your shoulders. So we just talked about facial posture here and I highly encourage you to practice doing this as often as you can bring your awareness to throughout your day. Number two, sun protection. Up to 90% of visible signs of premature aging is caused by sun exposure, especially unprotected sun exposure. So what you can do here is to try your best to avoid sun exposure during the hottest times of the day, usually around 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And if you are going to be exposed, really try to protect your skin with wide brimmed hats, with a scarf, with long sleeves and long pants that are UPF rated to protect your skin and for areas that are exposed like your face, the tops of your hands for example, you want to apply as often as you can 
an SPF rating of 30 at least. Preferably with non-nano zinc oxide, which is more sensitive skin friendly as well. We always recommend eating more whole foods, plant-based diet that is fresh, seasonal, and colorful without processed ingredients if possible. And the same thing applies for your skincare. We always recommend all natural and vegan skincare without unnecessary fillers. So having said this, let's come back to our body and our breath here. You can place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, gently close your eyes. We're going to inhale deeply through your nose. Inside out. Two more breaths here. Inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale, let it go. Inhale deeply through your nose. Nice and smooth. Out through your mouth, side out. Gently allow your breath to return to normal. Let go of all control here of your breathing. Gently open your eyes. And we will begin by prepping our skin for the Gua Sha Massage for fine lines and wrinkles. So make sure you have clean skin here. I already cleaned my skin. I take a shower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Illuminating Facial Serum right here. This is the facial serum that I recommend if your main concerns are with visible signs of fine lines, wrinkles, and hyperpigmentation. So I'm going to use one pump of Illuminating Facial Serum. You can use half a pump to one pump. So just listen to your skin and adjust accordingly. So I'm gonna get one pump here, like so, and then mix it with water. So my hands wet here with water and I'm going to mix it together, like so. And for those of you who are familiar this is just such an amazing treat for your face and for your neck as well. So I'm going to gently press all of this into the areas that we'll be focusing on for the Gua Sha Massage for fine lines and wrinkles. Gently pressing it all in here. Like so. The neck as well your back of your neck. Pressing it all in here. Feels really nice. <laughs> and the rest of it on your hands and your nails for a nice nourishment here. Like so. Then we will begin the Gua Sha Massage for fine lines and wrinkles. Make sure your tool is clean here. My Gua Sha tool is clean. So we're going to begin with the back of our neck here. So I'm going to turn around. And making sure the hair is out of the way. And keeping the tool about parallel to 45 degrees against your skin. And using light to medium pressure, we're going to glide. And at the base of your skull here, keeping it perpendicular. And we're going to apply some acupressure here. 
You can gently wiggle back and forth or in circles to release any tension, stress, blockages here. Bring awareness to your posture, tuck your core in, shoulders relax. Then we're going to do it two more times for three swipes total. One more here, like so. Breathing. Breathing here. Then we'll do the side next to it here. So keeping the tool parallel to 45 degrees. And once you get to the acupressure on the side here, we're going to apply acupressure. Begin with light to medium pressure and you can always build up the pressure here as you get more comfortable. Two more here. <sighs> Relaxing here and releasing as you breathe deeply into your belly. Then we'll do the other side here. So holding it like so and keeping it parallel to 45 degrees. And once you get to the edge here, applying a more pressure on the right side for an acupressure. <sighs> Two more here. It's just amazing how as you do this kind of massage for yourself, you'll learn more about your body and just having that awareness is so powerful for our healing process and journey. So let's do two more here. One more. Then we're going to come to the front here and we're going to work on our neck. So starting with whichever side here, left side or the right side, we get questions about that as well. So we're going to start here and keeping your tool parallel to 45 degrees and then glide up your neck here and wiggle at the edge here like so. Two more. And one more swipe here. It feels so nice and relaxing. Then we'll do the sides next to it. Like so. One more. Then we'll do right here. For this, we're going to use a tool like so. And apply Nice pressure at the edge here. Wiggle back and forth. Great for preventing lines on our neck here as well. And double chin. <laughs> we'll do the other side here. So keeping the tool at the base here and nice smooth swipe up to the edge here and wiggle. And two more. One more here. Then we'll move to the side next to it. Like so. Like this. One more here. And at the edge. Like so. Keeping the tool like this. And going up. One more here. Oh, feels really nice here. So we're going to move right under our chin area here. So we get lines 
that form all around our neck area. So this is great for preventing the signs of aging in these areas as well. So we're going to start here and then keeping the tool like so, we're going to gently go across and wiggle at the edge here like so. Two more here, like this. <sighs> Bring awareness to your posture. One more here. <sighs> Feels so great. Then we'll do the other side here, keeping the tool like so and running across. And at the edge, wiggle like this. Two more here, like so. One more, like this. <sighs> then we'll do our jawline here. We carry a lot of tension in these areas. So when we release tension here, we can release the facial expression so that there's no wrinkling and clenching that can cause more fine lines and wrinkles. And not to mention, you will see an improved blood flow and all the benefits as you do this for yourself. So let's begin our jawline here. So keeping the tool like so from this groove and running it across like this. And right about here, you can apply acupressure here. We carry a lot of tension in our masseter muscles. And some of you, if you have TMJ history or if you perhaps had a surgery here in these areas, you will notice a lot of resistance in these areas when you apply pressure. So when you feel that here, Try to breathe deeply from your belly and release the tension here. Then run it along and apply more acupressure. Bring awareness to your posture and run it here. We'll do two more. Right here can be a lot of tension as well so apply some acupressure and run it along and apply acupressure the masseter muscles are big so there's a lot of areas to cover <laughs> when you apply acupressure here and right here as well run it along and one more here for this one you can just apply the main pressure in the central area and run it. We'll do the other side. So begin here and apply some acupressure right here and run it along and apply acupressure here as well. For those of us with TMJ history, we can apply a little bit more pressure, but if it's your first time and it's a little tender here, be gentle and start with light pressure here. And two more. Right here, like so, like this. And running along and release. And one more here, like so, like this, like so, and release. <sighs> it just feels so amazing. So we're going to begin the lower cheek here. So from the center of your lips, gently run it along, like so. And wiggle at the edge, like so. Be more swipes here to 
prevent lines in these areas here. You have a lot of wrinkling in these areas and here, like so. Then we'll do the other side here from the center of your lips, like so, like this, like so. And we'll do the cheeks here with a little bit of acupressure to release tensions here. So running the tool like so, applying pressure from the edge and run it along. Two more here. Nice and gently, but with firmness. And one more. So much tension here as well. And we'll do the other cheek area here. So starting here, applying the pressure along the underside of your cheekbone. Releasing. Two more. Like so. Release, release, let it go. One more. Releasing, releasing, and let it go. And we'll do the upper cheekbone area as well. So starting from the side of your nose to help with any sinus congestion you may have and gently pull it along and wiggle at the edge here. So starting from the side of your nose, pulling it all across and one more, like so. Do the other side. <sighs> Letting go here of any perfectionism you may have. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just showing up alone is enough, right? You're making time for yourself to slow down, breathe, and heal. Then we're going to pull everything up like so. And this will help prevent lines all along these areas that form around here, around here, and here as well. So keeping the tool like so and gently pulling it across and wiggle at the edge here. Two more. This. One more, like so. We'll do the other side. So starting here, and gently pull it all up. And two more, like so. One more here, like this. Then we will do the under eye area here. So perfect for preventing lines that form around these areas. So gently keeping your hand taut here and then pull across gently. The eye areas are delicate, so just be very gentle here. Lighter pressure until you get to your temporal muscles on the edges here, you can apply more pressure. Then we'll do two more swipes here, like this. Bring awareness to your posture, soften, relax your jaws, your shoulders. One more here, like this. Then we'll do the other side here. So gently holding it nice and controlled and run it across to your temples and apply acupressure here. Release all the tension that 
creates the scrunching effect in these areas here. Everything is all connected. And two more here. Like so. Whew. One more swipe. Like this. Gentle here. Let it all go. Then we'll do the upper eye area here. So we're going to hold like so and run it across and apply pressure on the area that's temporal muscle here. That's a little bit higher than the previous area and apply acupressure. Just like the masseter muscles here, there's a lot of different acupressure points that you can apply for these areas of your temporal muscles. Especially if you have headaches and migraines, you may want to give yourself this acupressure to see how amazing it feels and it can help alleviate those symptoms. And two more here, like so. I'm going nice and slow here so that you really get a chance to create time to follow along and not get confused or get feel like you're missing out. So nice and slow here and it's a treat for yourself. And one more here. Like so. Whew, lots going on here. We'll do the other side here. So nice and gentle here. And at the edge, we'll apply some temporal muscles, acupressure here. Then two more. Gently run it across and apply acupressure here. You can always explore all of these areas if you just want to do acupressure as well. And one more here. Letting it all drain to the side here. Then we'll go up here, so this will help lift and also prevent lines on your forehead as well. So starting from this eye here, like this, and gently pull up towards your hairline, like so. And two more here, like this. Like so. And one more. Nice upper direction here. We'll do the other side here, so gently going up, like so, wiggle at the hairline, and two more, like so, and one more, like this. And we'll do the center here, so starting from between your brows, where we tend to have the lines in between, and then also the forehead here. So perfect for preventing lines and wrinkles in this area. So pulling up here to the hairline and wiggle. Two more. <sighs> By the time you get to here, it'll feel so relaxing and meditative as well. One more here. So, then we're going to go right here and like so, drain it off to the sides. So holding like this and running it all the way to the sides here. One more, like this, and the other side. And bring. Three, two more, like so, and one more. 
Then we'll do the eyes here. For this one, I will do two swipes. So it's one less swipe than on the way up here. So along the eyes here. Acupressure at the edge. One more. Like so. Then the under eye here. Nice and gentle. Like this. One more. Like so. And like this. As a, for the edge of your eyes. We'll do the other side. Like this. And one more here. The under, like so. And one more, like this. Oh, releasing here. Then the edge here, like so, nice and gentle. The edge of your eyes. Then we'll do the lower cheek area here. So from the side of your nose, sweep it all across and wiggle. One more, like this. The other side, like so. One more. Then we're going to do through the up like this. Like so. One more. <laughs> if you look a little funny here, that's all right. <laughs> then we'll do the other side. Like this. And up. One more. Like so. Then we'll do the lower cheek area. Like this. We'll do the other side, like this, this, then we'll do the jawline here, like so, release, one more, release, the other side, As you can see here, you can make your gua sha massage faster or slower depending on what your body needs here and what your skin needs. So just listen and become more aware of how you feel and what you need. One more. Then we'll do through under the chin area here. Have a nice long stroke. One more here. The other side, like so. Like this. And we're going to drain all of this down for an amazing lymphatic drainage. So starting from the edge here, bringing it all down, like so. Here, the edges. And the other side. Towards your heart. Like this. Then we'll do the back side here. <sighs> Drain it all down, back side of our neck as well. Do the other side. Like so.
And now we're going to clean our gua sha tool with warm water and soap for your next gua sha massage for fine lines and wrinkles. I'm going to wet the gua sha tool with warm water. Then I'm going to soap it here, like so. Being very gentle here. Then massage it carefully. You may want to place a soft towel underneath you during your massage for added protection for your gua sha tool. And I'm going to rinse it with warm water. So I have clean gua sha tool here and I'm going to gently dry with a towel. Being very careful here. It's a gemstone so you want to take care of it with love and attention. Like so. And you can store your clean dry gua sha tool in our Lemore carrying pouch like this. Like so. For added protection and portability wherever you go. And to wrap this up, we're going to drink together a glass of water to help hydrate our skin and our body from the inside out and also help with the cleansing and purification process. So let's drink water here. Cheers! Well, we just showed you our gua sha massage for fine lines and wrinkles that you can do easily at home. In terms of frequency, we always recommend doing this gua sha massage for yourself once a day. It can be in the morning or at night. Sometimes I do this gua sha massage for fine lines and wrinkles twice a day. But as always, listen to your skin and do what works best for you. Sometimes once a day is plenty enough. So just start with once a day, whether that's in the morning, middle of the day, or at night, depending on your schedule. And create time for yourself to reap amazing healing and beautifying benefits as you give yourself this amazing gua sha massage for fine lines and wrinkles. In the description below, you will find the products that are used in this video as well as more massage videos that you may also enjoy watching for your viewing anytime. If you enjoy this video, you found this video helpful and you're already noticing a positive difference with fine lines and wrinkles on your skin, after doing this gua sha massage for yourself, please like, share, and subscribe for more holistic wellness videos. And please join our membership by clicking the join button on our channel below. Thank you so much for joining me today. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be peaceful. Sending you all lots of love light, and healing energy all over the world. Much love and take care. Bye-bye.